Hello there, Pisces. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. Working with the Thoth deck this week. We're going to just do a Celtic cross spread this week for you, Pisces. All right, we got a little bit of a different setup, so it's a little weird. Um, but the Celtic cross is a little too large for my normal setup so keep in mind this is a general reading so it will not resonate for every Pisces placement out there feel free to check out your Sun moon rising sign to get a full picture but do use your own intuition to take what resonates and leave what doesn't Oh, it still doesn't fit. I did a bad job, Pisces. <laughs> oh, Pisces, you're going to be my guinea pig, okay? You're first. This is the price you pay for being first, okay? You have to be the guinea pig. All right. Did that give us any more room? Really not really. Okay, so I guess we need to move these over here. I'll keep bumping them. That will be fine for us. Pisces. How are we looking? We're pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll take it. We got the Empress on the bottom of the deck here for you this week, Pisces. Um, make sure you do hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. If you want to book a personal, my website is amyenergy.online. Okay. Oh, okay. So our center card here. Our current situation we have the ten of swords this is you know where we're at right now so I do feel like Pisces this week we could really be struggling to get past a situation or to you know let a situation end here okay because we do have the Prince of Discs as the crossing energy here so I feel like you know there's some real work that we need to do to go towards our goals here and you know it's the hard stuff it's the tedious stuff here with the Prince of Discs it's that mundane earthly stuff that you just have to do not very fun okay but yeah you got to do it here two of discs coming out this is the change card right so if we want to really manifest or really have change in our life Pisces we really do have to, you know, put in that work in our day to day, right? And we need to embrace all sides of life, work and play, right? We have to find a good balance. So that's really what we're focusing on here. All right. In the past, I feel like we maybe have been doing a lot, right? With the Knight of Wands here, we are really exerting a lot of energy in the past. So I feel like, you know, this Knight of Wands energy is not really sustainable, right? So we need a more sustainable routine and schedule. That's kind of what we're focusing on, right? Because maybe we keep ending up in this Ten of Swords energy, right? I'm kind of feeling that, um, you know, just intuitively, I feel like this could be you consistently, like, getting stuck in this cycle of, like, when you have energy, you burn all your energy and then you burn out instead of if you just had like a regular solid routine and you could keep showing up. OK, now what you do have going for you here, Pisces, of course, we have the high priestess. So your intuition really, truly is on point. So probably a lot of the stuff I'm going to even say in this reading, you're like, oh, yeah, I know you really know what's going on. So you have a good grasp on your situation. and you know, the two is the two of discs is related to the high priestess because this is also the two, right? So we are finding that balance in our life, right? We have to do the work in the physical, 
but then, you know, we do have this sort of guidance coming in from the astral. Like, we really do know what we're doing, even if we may not be consciously aware of it all the time, right? I love this this card in the Thoth deck because, like, you see, it's like a grid. You know, like, you're connected to everything here, Pisces. So even if you're here in this day-to-day, just balancing out, you know, the dark energies and the light energies, whatever that really means to you, right? But I really feel like we're we're connected to something greater and bigger than that, okay? Yes, wow, death card coming out here, Pisces. So I do feel like in the near future here, we could be really going through a major transformation. Absolutely. We're really letting go of the things that are holding us back or, you know, not serving us in this moment. Okay. So we have the five of discs here, worry. And this is, you know, your su- suggested approach towards your situation right now. So I do feel like We have to be really real about where we are at right now, Pisces, because we maybe do not have the resources that we need. And, you know, it's coming back to this Prince of Discs. Like, there's something we have to do in order to lay this groundwork for what we're trying to achieve here. Yeah, what you need to know, the Eight of Cups is here, so... What you need to know, Pisces, is it might seem dark right now, right? This is a dark card. However, it's also like a really beautiful card. You know, there's so many dimensions to it, right? I mean, this is such a powerful deck. I'm really, I usually reserve this soft deck just for me. It's my own personal deck on my altar. So this is the first time I'm using it for you, Pisces, in a weekly reading. and. You know, that is because I really feel like we need some deep, powerful messages right now before eclipse season, okay? And this Eight of Cups is just that, right? It's really, it's dark here. We're not exactly sure where we're going, right? But we have made a choice to evolve. So what you need to know, Pisces, is that you are in a space of evolution. So things are not going to be clear because you're moving into a different, like, higher level of thinking, right? So things aren't going to look familiar to you. And that will be a little scary at first, but you are going to get to know this new emotional landscape, okay? Your hopes and fears, we have the lust card coming out, okay? Wow. This is really beautiful here, Pisces. So I do feel like just intuitively right off the bat, I mean, this is obviously a very sexy card, but I just feel like, you know, um, our relationship to sex or our relationship to our body is definitely coming up you know, in our hopes and fears. So, you know, we are going to go through and clarify this a bit here, Pisces, but I definitely feel like, you know, that's a focus, like feeling comfortable in our body. Absolutely. We have the queen of discs here. This is, you know, the outcome, the forecast. I don't claim to be able to read the future because you have free will. But based on the energies of today, this is our likely outcome with the Queen of Discs. And I feel like this is us feeling very comfortable in our world and being able to take action, take physical action to make ourselves comfortable and, you know, to experience physical pleasures here, right? Because we also have the Empress. So this is a very sensual energy that we're moving into, Pisces. Okay, wow. So I definitely do feel this Ten of Swords, like a situation that's ending here, 
is, you know, us really spending so much time in our mind and really getting into our body, right? I feel intuitively that, you know, yeah, this could just be something like that. I'll hold off. I'll wait till we get a card here from our holographic rider weight. Okay, what is this coming out? Yeah, nine of swords. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes. So this is where we're at, right? Really in our head. We're in our head to a point that we could really be feeling it in our body, right? Even though this is the ten of swords, look at how fiery of a card it is. It's very red right and it's really communicating to this knight of wands to me but like it's also kind of communicating with you know like the red tones in this card right but this is you know sorry pisces um sometimes my the thoughts come in quicker than i can say them so but, you know, I'm feeling this, this journey we're going on here to, it's like we're dulling the pain somehow. Okay. It's very interesting, but we do got the Six of Pentacles on the bottom here. So I feel like we could need a little help right now. In our current situation, we could be really seeking some help, some assistance. <laughs> yeah, the challenge. We have the Four of Wands, also the Knight of Wands coming out here. So again, the same, well, this is actually not the same card because the Kings are Knights in the Thoth deck. Um, but I'm feeling a really similar energy, right? And they're like, going the same direction right and i feel like pisces we're putting our energy sometimes in the wrong place and the right place is like we don't have to exert so much energy right like i feel like that's a big message in this reading is just realizing that we're okay we're safe right we're actually in a good place and we're actually stable and we don't have to you know, be in this constant energy. Like, I feel like just because we get inspired, we can take our time with something, right? Like, honestly, I'm a Pisces, and that, like, resonates for me because even doing this reading tonight, it was like, did I have to do the reading tonight? Maybe I could have taken a little extra time and made this cloth look better and steamed it, and then it would have been a better reading. Hopefully you don't mind, Pisces. Um, I didn't think he would, so, you know, I'm fine with my decision tonight, but I'm just saying for, you know, an example. Okay. Yeah, Pisces, we really have something we need to work here on with what we need to focus on. The two of discs change with the eight of pentacles. Like, if you want to change or manifest something into your life right now, it is going to take that physical work here even the strength card coming out so the strength card coming out on the bottom here and then you know that's the same as this lust card right just different deck okay you know this deck this thoughts deck makes it much more seductive and sexy so i love that um but this is the same card and so I do feel Pisces, like, our hopes and our fears is, like, maybe the work that we have to do. Like, I feel like part of us wants to do the work, right? Because this is an eight also. So these cards are connected. The strength card is the major arcana eight. So, you know, they're all about the evolution, and the abundance that you're calling in right now but you are gonna have to really put in the work and like stay focused on your resources 
making sure that you're like allocating your resources to the same place like that's or to the right place i don't know what I'm, what am i talking about pisces okay hopefully your intuition is it is on point so you you can maybe know what i'm saying even when i make no sense <laughs> okay all right so we have the five of discs or the five of pentacles coming out here with the knight of wands and this is in the most recent past right so pisces i feel like we've definitely been having some financial struggles here right and we have the five of discs over here so same card different deck i mean i just love this art on the thoth deck though um but yeah six of cups here so i feel like in the past pisces we may have felt like we needed to go towards like a mentor and like for some reason even if this could be like a parent or someone who we really trusted or someone who really loves us and cares about us like either way i think it maybe just wasn't the right direction to go like it was the safe way and it was the way that really discounted ourself right it was like I feel like to an extent we like thought we needed help that we didn't need. Like we were putting ourselves in this five of pentacles energy when we didn't even have to ever go there, right? But it's interesting because the five of this coming out over here. So I'm interested to see how this reading keeps playing out here for us. All right, let's clarify this high priestess. King of Cups, okay, yeah, Pisces. So you're really, I feel, developing some major strengths that are going to help you right now, okay? Because in your strengths, we have the two, the high priestess. We have the two down here, too. <laughs> And now we have the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So the two of wands can often be a card of like tension, right? Because the twos are those in-between moments that are uncomfortable, that bring up those fears like you see in the two of swords. Or, you know, just this tension with the two of wands of wanting to move forward, but, you know, for whatever reason, you can't yet. And so... I definitely feel like our strength is that we're able to maneuver these times, or at least we're learning to be able to maneuver these in-between moments because life is a lot of in-between moments, right? We don't always get to move forward, but we're really learning how to listen to the universe and know when it is time to move forward, right? The king of cups, the throne of movement okay so but we're very intuitive here we know when it's time for us to move so um that's a great strength pisces that's a strength that many of us struggle with i think maybe even all of us struggle with so to have that strength is so good to be able to you know manage those in-between moments okay and i feel like it's new i feel like we're still like developing this skill right because we have this death card coming out. Oh, yes. Wow. Big transformation here, Pisces. And look, there it is again. I knew it was connected, right? I knew the two of wands was connected to both portions of this. You really are learning this, Pisces. You're learning how to sit in this moment. You're learning that the universe doesn't let you move forward until it's time for you to move forward. And honestly, right now, you need to change a little bit who's in your circle or how you're interacting with the people in your circle there really has to be a transformation right in how we are open to people okay maybe we don't want to be this open right the three of cups is a beautiful card but if you're hanging with the wrong people it can be you know very distracting or disruptive right um you know 
I'm with the death card, this is kind of how I'm feeling it. And with the two of wands, I feel like there could be people in your circle that maybe you love them and maybe they love you, but it, for some reason, it's like they're holding you back. Maybe, you know, they enable you in some way. So I feel like we need to kind of transform that. And for whatever reason, I feel like we're not going to, you know, that may be the hold up with the universe, like letting us move forward, is that we first need to make sure our energy is really safe and protected and that we're very, being very aware and not getting lost in friends or, you know, good times as a distraction. Okay, so our approach here is this five of discs, worry, and the ten of swords. Okay, so coming out again here, your center card. So I feel like this is everything, Pisces. Your approach here is everything, and these are very intense energies coming out, okay? So, wow. I mean, I feel like to a certain extent here with the, the five of discs worry, it's like, It's just such an interesting energy, right? Because it's like we don't want to, like, be in lack mindset. Like, I would never tell you that, but it's almost like we have to be real, right? We have to be really real about our limitations and about our pain here, Pisces, with the Ten of Swords. We have to be really real about the situation that we're in right now because I feel like we are starting to understand that we just are not able to produce really good results coming out of our current energy okay and it's because you know the five of discs is a minor arcana so this is not an energy we're moving through but you know, physical limitations are a very real thing, right? So I feel like to a certain extent with the Ten of Swords, we're really, we have to drop any shame that comes along with not being able to have all of the physical resources that we need. And if we can drop that shame, then I feel like, we can actually call in a lot of energy toward us, right? I'm almost feeling like this is like both your energy going out, being like, hey, I need help. And then also like I feel like this is maybe it's like over the internet or something because it's the Knight of Swords. Um, but I feel like it's the Knight of Swords and not the Knight of uh, pentacles simply because I feel like it's very fast right so I feel like it's like very quickly you could just get like a lot of money in your PayPal or in your Venmo like unexpectedly but you know it's almost like you have to be real and you have to let let this pain go like the universe really wants you to like let this end this swords energy right because it's really holding you back and it's holding you back from putting in the work that you need to put in okay in some ways here maybe you're spending more time stressing out than you are working and you really just need to put that little bit of work in every day okay what you need to know the eight of cups we're going to clarify with the four of wands okay so in the page of swords here so again i'm kind of feeling here pisces like you know you are evolving you are opening up right and you're actually in a better place than you think you are 
right? Because I feel like you are safe with the people that you have in your corner, right? Like this could be your family. But I feel like it's just communication. You just have to communicate about where you're at, right? And I feel like when you communicate, it makes things feel a lot better, okay? So, yeah, we have to open up about where we're at right now. We're in a transformational page. We're in the process of evolution, you know? So people will understand that, Pisces, if you communicate. And if you communicate about it and you're just real about it, I feel like people will really... Um, first of all, people will understand, and second of all, it will relieve you a lot of stress just by, you know, communicating. All right, our hopes and fears, clarifying the lust card. Yeah, we got the five of swords coming out, so I feel like this could be, um, Pisces, like just being afraid that as we jump into these new opportunities and feel sexy and good in our skin, like we're scared of what people will say. We're scared because people might be jealous of us and try to like talk about us behind our back and we're afraid of that, okay? And that's, that's real, okay? You know, it'd be so nice if none of us cared what people think, but of course we do. You know, to a certain extent, um, it's hurtful when somebody doesn't want to celebrate you, and that's very real. But I feel like, fuck them, right? You have to still do what's best for you. You still have to shine, even if people are going to talk about you. Like, they're talking about you because they wish they could shine the way you do. And maybe. When it's all said and done, you'll inspire them to do just that, right? Um, but you have the Ace of Wands here, so you need to jump on the new opportunities. And it is safe for you to be full of yourself. People are going to do what they're going to do. You can't control other people. And you can't let the fear stop you from showing up because, you know, you have a real... Um, something to really offer here from your heart all right yeah I see you moving on from a situation maybe even physically moving here in the future Pisces in you know our future outcome here which again I cannot tell the future but based on the energy of today it does look like you know we are moving into a space where we're going to be moving forward, going on to new opportunities here. And again, maybe physically moving, but with the Page of Pentacles, um, I feel like, you know, that's here with the challenge. It's the same card, different deck, Prince of Discs, Page of Pentacles. So... Well, I guess that's not true. This would be like the night of this, okay? Sorry, I get so confused sometimes, <laughs> Pisces. Um, yeah, so not exactly the same card, but really, truly, like, same energy that I'm picking up right now, which is that we have to just put in the work, learn, what it, learn something, right? Maybe we need to take a class, read some books here. Um, but I see us really doing that. I see us putting in the work that we need to put in in order to, you know, get whatever it is we want here, okay? Now, from the Sacred Rebel Oracle, we have free from judgment, free to love. Okay, and I want to read from the book. Okay, look, I opened up right to it. Can't freaking believe that. That's so cool. Okay. Let's 
get these out of the way here. I'll give you a front row view of this card here, okay. Imagine a world so infused with bliss, love, and wonder that you naturally and always feel as safe as a nourished, cherished baby in the arms of the universal mother. Life mothers us with kindness and sometimes when we need it to grow through challenge as well. Accepting this mothering in its gentle and fierce faces can be difficult at times. Yet there are those brave enough to brave enough in spirit to go forth onto their life path with absolute trust in the universal mother. Some are even part of her plan to help mother others so they too can surrender fear and live more freely. This oracle comes with a message for you. You are learning about mothering and being mothered. You might not do this in a typical way. It might be through bearing children, but it could also be through adopting children, raising children, or otherwise taking care of children and loving them as if they were your own. You might also be learning how to mother on a rather different scale, working with groups, communities, causes, or purposes that need your devotion, your energy, your belief in their value, and your willingness to be the wild tigress or the supportive shoulder to lean upon in order to bring those worthwhile groups to life. You may also be an aspect of the universal mother on a spiritual level. Some people that do this are male, some are female, some have children and some do not. Some are healers and some work in seemingly more ordinary professions. They have a mothering aspect in common and they love and respect life. They believe in life and are moved by compassion and are genuinely encouraging and respectful of people. Rather than taking perverse delight when someone stumbles, they want to help. They are ordinary people with an extraordinary natural tendency to nurture life around them. This oracle brings you confirmation that you are amongst the Universal Mother's special clan of nurturing spirits that help to honor life on this planet. You are also being asked to open up to receive more nurturing. You can do this for yourself. You can also choose to open up and allow others to nurture you. It might make you feel a little vulnerable at first, especially if you are not used to doing this. But you don't have to worry. You will get used to valuing yourself enough to know that needing love and affection from another is an opportunity not only for you to receive, but for someone else to give, which involves them being received too. If you are tired and have been taking care of everyone else, then take some time to shift the pattern and allow life to support you too. The Universal Mother helps the helpers so they can keep helping. It works rather well, you see, for those that give so much to also receive abundantly. All right, sorry, Pisces, if it's not a seamless, um, <laughs> well, it's not going to be because I'm talking right now. Um, but my phone just turned off in the middle of reading your oracle. This is really long, too, so I read, like, three pages. Oh, my gosh. But it's really powerful, so stay with me, Pisces, all right? We got this. If you have been asking life for a solution to a specific difficulty, you have been having this oracle comes with the message that a solution is in gestation right now the situation is already being sorted out and the resolution will come to fruition very soon hold tight and wait for the imminent birth of that resolution this is also a confirmation if you are interested in working with children the inner child with art therapy for emotional healing or any sort of uninhibited creative expression that helps dislodge social conditioning and open one up to more spontaneous healing-based existence. Then yes, go ahead and do it. The Universal Mother is supporting you and you cannot get 
a more powerful ally. This oracle also brings you a message about love. You may find that you are loving or soon will love in a different way. You may worry about this love, given that it defies what you have known or been taught about love. Perhaps you are becoming able to love another tremendously even though you don't have much of a personal relationship with them. You might question if this love is real. It is real. It is just happening at a different level to the love and attachment you experience when you are involved in a personal relationship with someone. It is not more or less. It is just a different facet of love. It may be that you are opening up to love the planet and her creatures, including the animals and ocean-dwelling life, your own body, the trees, and so on. More than before, you may feel passionately purposeful about giving your time and energy to causes that protect and nurture the earth and her creatures. You are affirmed in this love too. The universal mother is operating through you to nurture life. She will support you in your work so that you can continue to come from love and not become drained, depleted, or lost in despair or fear of futility. Instead, you will be energized and expanded by your dedicated service to life. Finally, this oracle has a message for those who may be feeling alone or lonely and in need of greater nurturing from others. You are asked to stop, relax, center, and settle into your body to feel your connection with life itself. The air in your lungs is the same air that moves the trees. The water in your blood is the same water that fills the oceans and is moved by the phases of the moon. The flesh of your body is the same substance as the body of the earth itself. The heat in your digestive system is the same fire and heat as that from the sun. Feel this connection. Then do something nice for another without agenda. Make a donation, even just a small one. Say a prayer. Send out a good thought or make a wish for another. That's it. You have connected to life again. And in doing so, life can connect with you. And so it shall. All right, Pisces. A powerful oracle. I really just cannot get over, you know, that. It was a lot of mothering energy, right? And I feel like we have all the mother cards here, right? We have the Empress, the Earth Mother, the High Priestess, the Spiritual Mother. And, you know, I'm even feeling this Lust card as a mothering energy. You know, I feel like that's the mother that we all needed, right? Because I do feel like, you know, growing up living in a patriarchy, you know, regardless of your gender, if you had a mother figure that was not in her power, that was not sexy and feeling herself, you know, that's a lack. Um, that's something that we need to see, right? So not seeing that growing up, I feel like that could be pretty um, detrimental to any child. Um, so I do think maybe it's not traditionally like a mother, but I'm, in this reading, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling like you really are becoming like this ultimate mother. And so much that it said was just, you know, when it was like, don't get lost in the futility and all of that, you know? That's, futility is definitely a sword's, sword's energy and definitely like with the wands and this fiery energy, I'm like feeling that. So... I hope that that was a really powerful message for you, Pisces. Um, if you did enjoy this reading, please subscribe. Consider sharing with a friend. I really appreciate it. Anything you do to help me grow my channel, it just means the world to me. You can donate at Venmo or Cash App at Amy Energy. I'm on Instagram at Amy Energy. TikTok at Amy Energy 3. And oh, yes, and you want to follow me on TikTok, Pisces. I keep forgetting to bring this up, but I'm definitely 
going to start going live on TikTok, okay? So you definitely want to follow me there because you can maybe get a chance to get your questions answered when I go live. So if you have any lingering questions from this reading, take them on over to TikTok and I can help you out there. My website, amyenergy.online, if you want to book a personal. But most of all, Pisces, just have a wonderful week. I love you and appreciate you. Take care.